Hello and welcome to the Views Club. If you're interested in learning how to make clover rolls, some big, fluffy, gourmet looking clover rolls, keep watching. Hi friends, these are the ingredients we're going to need for our clover rolls. We are going to need 9 cups of flour, 4 cups of milk, 1 cup of oil, I'm using canola oil, you can use vegetable oil, half a cup of sugar, two and a half teaspoons of yeast, one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and some butter for our baking pan. Now let's go ahead and get started on this lovely delicious recipe. Okay friends, I have a big pot and that's what you guys are going to want to use. Big, pick your biggest pot, okay? Because you guys know that I'm used to using small pots and we get into problems. So we're going to pick the big pot today. I haven't turned my burner on at all yet. What we're going to do is we're going to add our milk. We're going to add our sugar. And we're going to add our oil. We're going to stir this to make sure that everything is well combined. You can use a spoon or a whisk. I think a whisk works best for me. That should take you about 20 seconds to do. Once you've done that, you're going to turn your burner on to a medium-low heat. And before we turn this heat on, I would like to let you guys know what we're looking for. We're just scalding the milk, which means we're just waiting for it to boil. As soon as it hits a boil, you turn it off. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, friends, this just hit a boil. You can see it more on this angle. And you want to turn it off as soon as it hits that boil. Give it a good mix. And this is where you're going to require a lot of patience, guys. Clover rolls are so delicious, but they are very tedious because there's a lot of waiting time in between. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that our mixture here has cooled off. So I'm going to move it to the side on a little resting spot away from the heat so that this can cool down. And we need it to cool down to about 90 to 110 degrees so that it doesn't burn our yeast, but still give it an environment to where our yeast can thrive. So I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes and I'll check my temperature at that time. Okay friends, my temperature cooled off. I've been here about 35 minutes. I think this pan holds, this pot holds uh, a lot of heat. My temperature is at about 100, which is perfect. It's just warm, kind of like when you're going to give a baby a bottle, not too hot. We want to, um, we want it warm enough to be able to activate our yeast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about four cups of our flour in here. And notice how when I scoop them, they're not level because it's all going to go in here anyways. This is just our starter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add our yeast. And I'm going to start mixing it around. Although it is a time consuming uh, recipe for these rolls, it is a very, very easy recipe. I always love that smell of the warm milk and the flour. Ooh. Okay, once you see that it's mixed well, we're going to go ahead and add four more cups of flour. Mm -hmm. 
So what we have in here is eight cups of flour and you want to leave one cup of flour on the side. If you guys are able to see that well. There we go. I know my arm is in the way guys, but I need it. I need to get in here to mix this. That's why when you're going to pick a spoon to mix, try to pick the, the lighter ones because it can get heavy after a little bit. Ooh, that smell is so wonderful. I'm sure there's many ways to make these clover rolls. Um, I actually got a, this recipe from one of my neighbors growing up. One of our neighbors growing up. And she was from, I want to say Missouri. That's how she would say it, Missouri. <laughs> so Missouri. And um, I think she was raised in Ohio. Or as she would call it, Ohio. It's a nice and sticky, delicious dough. That beautiful, right? Once we've combined all our ingredients in this pot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lid on this and I'm going to let this set for an hour so it can get all nice and warm. The yeast can marry the flour. All the nice warm components in here will be really happy and thriving. So let this rest for about an hour and then I'll see you guys in just one hour. Okay friends, it's been an hour and look at the drastic change in size. Pretty nice, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the remaining cup of flour. I have a little bit less because I, you guys saw me portioning it out, but it should still work out the same. We're gonna add our salt. We're gonna add our baking powder. And our baking soda. We're gonna Give it another good mix. And at this point, if you're interested, you can use your hands, which is what I'm gonna do. So soft and gentle in here. Oh my goodness, it feels so nice. I love it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it over on my, my board. Just give it a quick little knead to make sure that we have everything combined well in here. You guys remember how I told you how to fold for bread? Sit down, bring it in, roll it out. It's still very nice and sticky. You're going to see that it's a slightly sticky dough and we're okay with that. Okay friends, our dough is set. You really don't need to knead it more than three to four minutes. It's sticky but not overly sticky. Kind of more of a tacky feel. If you end up with your, with your dough that's a little bit more stickier, not a tacky feel to it, you can add about a one tablespoon of flour on your cutting board or your countertop, wherever you're mixing it and just give it another little mix and it'll get, it'll get smooth. So now, our next part, okay? You wanna butter your muffin dish really good. Don't be stingy with this butter. Make sure you line them all pretty well here. So now what you want to do is we're going to start making the clovers and you want them to be about the size of a walnut, pretty small. Ok, 
Okay. You guys already know I have this little habit from the tortillas. What you're gonna do, I really like my clover rolls to be gourmet bakery, like really large. So the sizes are gonna vary for whatever you guys want. I'm gonna prop them in there, and you're set. It's also gonna depend a lot on your, on your muffin pan. You see my dough's a little sticky? You should be okay with that. If you don't wanna make the clover style, you can just make them into little rolls for dinner. Obviously you're gonna make a bigger size. So I'm just gonna keep on making these rolls so that I can Fit them on my pan here. And I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay friends, I've rolled them all out. Now I'm just gonna soften them up. All I do is go right here, it's kind of flat, and just roll it. Okay friends, if you're gonna make them small, then you're gonna get enough for about two dozens. But if you're gonna make them large like I am, it's gonna be about a dozen, a dozen and a half. And I saved a little portion so that my babies can make some after I'm done showing you how to make it. Do you want to say hello? You can say hello, baby. Hello. That's it. Hola. Hola. Howdy. Awesome. You guys know cutie gets shy. And then you kind of start feeling how much some of them are too big, things like that. So put them in your little muffin tins. They're so what, baby? You're so talented. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You paying attention so that when it's your turn? Yep. Okay. I can tell that that one looks like an egg. It egg. looks like an egg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. For me, when I'm rolling them on my hand like this, I kind of feel that there's a lot of the dough hanging at the bottom, and that's the one that I take that part out. Because I have a feeling like certain ones might be too big. But anytime I go to a bakery, I see the big, like, muffins or popovers. Oh, I just smelt with delight. Mom. Yes, baby? That's so cool. Like, when you're putting this one in, mm -hmm. I saw two, and then that's so cool when you put all three of them in. Well, you're going to have your piece of dough that you're going to do with your brother, and it's going to be it's going to be just as fun. So pay attention on how I'm rolling it, okay? Okay. Use club, pay attention too. If you guys feel like my technique right now is not working for you guys in the tortilla video, I give you guys a better one. So on little rolls. Baby, you're so patient. You get that from your mama. You and I are both very mm -hmm. patient. And I get that from my dad too. Yeah, your cousin? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's very patient. When you put them in the muffin pan, you're gonna see how much they rise even more. Uh, what you can do is you can set them like this overnight in your refrigerator. Make sure you put a little saran wrap, a nice cover for them. And what's gonna happen, they're gonna rise. You might have to press them down a little bit the next day because they'll continue to rise in the refrigerator. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna lay a nice um, plastic over this. If you have a kitchen towel, you can do that. And I'm gonna let this rise for, you can let it rise between an hour and three hours. I'm going for the three hours because I want them to be huge and monstrous. You guys will see what I'm talking about in just a moment. So I'll see you guys in about two to three hours to see where we're at. Okay friends, my babies changed their mind. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make dinner rolls out of these if you don't wanna make them into clover. You're gonna get whatever uh, baking pan you have and you're gonna butter your dish, okay?
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do little rolls. Friends, I'm going to start making them into rolls. Same way we did the clover rolls. Okay, so now I'm gonna start placing them in here. And same things for these. Uh, you can let it rise about an hour to three hours depending on the size that you want. And if you do it again overnight, um, just make sure that you press them down a little bit because they're gonna rise up really, really high. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, friends, these have been resting for two hours and they've already doubled in size. This is going to be a delicious size for us. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put them in the oven at 400 degrees and we're going to bake them for 20 to 25 minutes. It's going to depend on your oven. And when I'm done baking, I'll let you guys know how long mine baked for. Okay friends, I kept them in for 20 minutes. What I did with this one is that I put butter, melted butter on the top and these don't have any butter on the top at all. Look at how beautiful they are. So let me go ahead and separate these and show you guys the inside of this roll so that you can get excited at home when you make it for your family. It's a very, very simple recipe. It is time consuming, but it's definitely worth it. They are so light and soft, they just pull apart right here. Ooh, they're nice and hot. All right, I'm gonna need another, another tray for these. Okay, Views Club, this is how you make clover rolls. We have your clover rolls over here. These are massive, they are gourmet looking. I mean, they are just fabulous and they taste amazing. Over here we have our dinner roll version and I'm really excited for you guys to try these rolls. They're very simple, time consuming, but very, very simple to make. Um, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. If you haven't clicked that bell for notification, now is the time to become one of my bells. <laughs> now let's go ahead and dig in. I took a few bites right now because I couldn't resist, so I'm just gonna butter it up. Give it a good taste. You saw when I was taking them off the, the baking pan, so, so good. Mm. Perfect. You know, my niece and I are in charge of making the dinner rolls for Thanksgiving, and these are our go-to. And we actually have to make like double the batches because the night before we consume them and then the day the following thanksgiving day we consume them as well okay views club my tribe is really excited and ready to dig into these rolls so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye adios views club don't forget to send me your pictures on twitter and instagram i enjoy sharing them with our club and i just get really excited when i see them so i'll see you guys when you send me the pictures and in the comments bye